Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'll explain how to get JSON output from on-premise LLM running on top of Olama and uh, Llama index and V8 uh, vector database. Uh, this work uh, which I'm showing is part of uh, uh, Sparrow uh, solution implementation and Sparrow is our open source project which uh, is supposed to help to extract data from different kind of documents. In the past we implemented uh, Donut ML model support and now I'm working on uh, LLM integration specifically to be able to run LLM on premise. And first let's uh, take a look and see uh, how the request and response looks like uh, JSON response. So what I'm doing here, I'm executing uh, a script, uh, main entry script, and I'm passing uh, an array, array of um, field names that I want to extract. Uh, so the prompt is, uh, doesn't have any extra information. It just uh, directly only the prompts that I'm looking to extract from the document. <clears throat> and then this uh, uh, secondary, it goes with types. So for each field, I specify which type um, this uh, field belongs. So for example, uh, this one is integer string, and then I got also list of strings and list of loads. So this goes for uh, list of strings for the names of invoice items, and list of loads, it goes for uh, gross worth of invoice items. And then we execute the pipeline, construct the query engine for Lama index, and then we retrieve the answer. And here we go, here we get the answer. Uh, this is the JSON response. And the JSON comes out of the box from LLM through Lama index. There's no any extra parsing is done for, for the JSON. So this is what, this is the clean JSON which comes from the model. So <clears throat> we get invoice number, integer, then we got uh, a gross row of, of invoice items, floats, and uh, names of invoice items, and uh, the JSON output is nicely structured. Uh, the way it was uh, specified uh, in a request uh, in the types uh, section. Okay, so this is JSON output, right? And uh, the, the LLM model, I'm using open source uh, on-premise model, Starlink LM, and I'm running this with Olama. And yeah, it works It works great. There are obviously other LLM models, so it's always good to test which one works better with your type of documents. But <coughs> Starlink LLM uh, is quite a uh, low uh, resource demanding model. It can run on uh, average hardware and is good for testing your LLM pipeline on a local environment or your on your development machine. Okay, and I'll look, let's let's go through the code and uh, all the code is available in a GitHub in a Sparrow. I'll put the link below the video, and I'll just will walk you through the code to understand the key concepts of the implementation, so that you would have better understanding how it works. Uh, so uh, under engine we have the main entry point uh, build rack pipeline, and uh, this is where all the steps are happening to prepare actual pipeline. <clears throat> and inside the engine, once the pipeline is is prepared, we execute get rack response, and uh, here we uh, run through Llama index and uh, send request to the LLM and get back the answer. So this answer, as it comes uh, from, if you look into the get rack response, this is the uh, the method, and the, the only thing we do here, we check the result, which comes from Llama index, to make sure that this is actually JSON structure. In case if it's not JSON structure, we return the error and we try to ask the same question again. And we do like three attempts, for example. Because LLMs, uh, LLM, it may happen from the first request, it may not answer a correct resp uh, response, and, but it, uh, if you ask the same thing again, it may uh, return the correct answer. So just to make sure that this use case is, is covered. So here we get the answer, and then we just print out the answer as is, uh, and if it's proper JSON, then it's just uh, getting printed as JSON. Obviously, we can return it to the uh, third-party system as, uh, also for the further down processing and so on. Okay, so uh, now if you look into the build track pipeline, function implementation, it's inside the uh, pipeline script over here. This is the implementation. 
What happens here, a few steps. First, we uh, connect to the VAV8 vector database where uh, vectorized uh, document is stored. Then we, uh, in the next step, we connect to the OLAMA. Uh, then we load embeddings. Then we create uh, index through LAMA index, and this is the important part in this in this uh, use case. Uh, we built the response model, which is the dynamic pedantic model, and we build it over here in this uh, method um, built response class. And what happens here? We specify what type what types we support, like list, string, and float. <clears throat> and then we pass this array from the uh, from the input, uh, as you remember, like in, in the beginning of the video, showing that we pass array of types for each of the fields. And then we also pass uh, names and types, right? And then based on this information, we built uh, a dynamic Pydantic class with a create model, uh, which is the method from the Pydantic. And we return the instance of this class. So in this case, uh, we don't need to have predefined static class of the uh, outputs that uh, we would expect from the model, because uh, each query could be different. In one query, we may fetch one set of fields. In another query, we may fetch another set of fields. So we don't want to have static class. We generate dynamic identity class, and then based on this class, uh, based on the response model, in the next last step of the pipeline creation, uh, we uh, create the query engine and Lama index allows to pass uh, output class parameter, so we specify a response model, and this is our dynamic identity class with names and types uh, that we expect uh, to get uh, as the output from the LLM. And yeah, then we specify also response mode compact so that make sure we don't return any additional description text because we are interested only in specific output. And then we return back this as a query engine over here again. And then, as I mentioned, we uh, do get react response here, yeah, and then we pass the query, and the query is actually uh, is being constructed over here. Let's see. This is the query we append um, as a prefix retrieve, uh, and we pass the all the field names that we, we specified in the input. And then this this thing will be used as a query for Lama index. So we say retrieve the fields, and then uh, Lama index um, query engine is set up with the class which uh, tells. Uh, uh, instructs the Lama index how you would uh, uh, basically prepare the response uh, for us based on this JSON structure, and then we get back the response as expected over here. Okay, so this was a quick video to, to show you that it's possible with open source LLM models running on top of Lama index, or Lama, and VVA database to get ex uh, clean and uh, uh, expected answer from LLM. Uh, in, in, in the form of JSON. So thanks for watching and uh, uh, you can follow um, on GitHub repo for the Sparrow and I'll be uh, adding more functionality there for, for uh, related for the document uh, processing and uh, data extraction. So stay tuned and see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.